You know what time it is? It's whiskey review time. Today's episode, we have Bullet Single Barrel Bourbon. It is from the Bullet Distillery. It's one of their iterations on their line of products. You have Bullet Orange Label, you have Bullet Rye 95, you have Bullet 10 Year Bourbon, and now they have the Single Barrel Bourbon. And what's great about this is it's non-chill filtered. Keeps in some of that extra flavor. In my personal opinion, I love a non-chill filtered bourbon. Okay, so this is 104 proof, non-chill filtered, and aged 10 years old. It's from a pick out of a group that I'm in, and I'm grateful to have it. So, you know what we do? Dive into that whiskey review. Check it out. A little Roger Rabbit sticker on the back. Pretty sweet. Little themes they do. I'm loving it. Loving the theme. Loving the artwork. It's pretty sweet. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, so, I've had this bottle open one time. I took it to a bullet event that I went to, and uh, it must have been really good. I know I drank a bunch of this out of the bottle, but I definitely don't remember how it tastes. So we're gonna give it a fair review today. I'm a big bullet fan myself, so without further ado, let's get into that whiskey review. Now, with bullet single barrels, I always get fruit notes on the nose. Get a, I, I Generally speaking, I get a lot of strawberry, a little ton of cherry. Some of that oak, some of that caramel comes in. Right on the nose. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, cherry's really coming through now. Oh, yeah. Strawberry Twizzler and Cherry Twizzler is what I get on this nose. Heavily. Mm. First initial thoughts, it's got a nice mouthfeel. There is a particular flavor that hits me right away and it's like strawberry and caramel or like a strawberry cream. That was like that initial like, what is that? That's what that is, at least for me. Um, other notes that I get, I get heavy fruits, apple, strawberry, cherry. You got that caramel in there. You got some vanilla weaving in and out. Got a little bit of oak, I'm 10 years old. And that 104, I love the fact that this is 104 proof. The fact that it's non-chill filter, it, all these are driving factors to what makes this a great bourbon. Um, I think this is a solid product in general, any of the single barrels that I've had. I think if you're a bourbon drinker, something that's pretty readily available on the shelf, there's probably a store near you that's got a single barrel there that they've done. Pick one up. They're like 60, 70 bucks. Now, worth the price? We'll talk about it. I think for what we're getting, I mean, this is a 10 year old bourbon. How many 10 year old bourbons sit on the shelf? Not that many. Eagle Rare's even allocated, and that's a 10 year old, still a 10 year old bur bourbon. So with that being said, and you can barely get that, this is a 10 year old bourbon and it, these things sit on the shelves. It's definitely full body, a lot of flavor. Just a great bourbon. Definitely something I think every bourbon drinker should have on their shelf to grab for. I will tell you, these make an absolutely awesome old fashioned. I, I, generally speaking, that's what I always make my old fashions with is single barrel bullet bourbon or four rows of small batch select, but we're talking about bullet today. Anyways. By the way, forgot to mention, in the line of bullet selection, we have the cast strength as well. Personally, I love all their products. They have great products. Honestly, across the board. It's like Four Roses. You got their products. All, all across the board, great products. Is this worth 60, 70 bucks? Absolutely. If it's sitting on the shelf, pick one up. Do yourself a favor. It's a great bourbon. For something that's readily available, generally speaking, 
on the shelf, do yourself a favor. Keep this in your, your normal rotation, like a weekly rotation. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about the finish and we'll do the score. The heat wakes up on the back end and that oak and vanilla are driving factor going down. On the finish, you left a little bit of heat. Nothing crazy, it's 104 proof. Definitely drinks at 104. But with all that being said, yeah, caramel, light sweetness, some vanilla, some oak, just a nice standard bourbon product, you know, and a great standard finish. Like nothing, it's not insane or mind blowing, but it's not George T. Snag. You know what I'm saying? But it also is a great product. So take that with a grain of salt, how you will. Overall thoughts, it's got a good mouthfeel, nice nose, nice full body, uh, medium to long finish. Everything's great about this. Honestly, I don't have any qualms with this bourbon. I think it's a pretty solid product all the way around from nose to finish. So. Let's get down to that score. No rookie scores, you know what we do. What am I thinking for an everyday pour or a cocktail bourbon? What am I thinking? I think this is above average than a regular everyday bourbon. Like this to me, regular everyday bourbon. 1792 foolproof, single barrel, regular everyday bourbon. I think this is 6'8". Honestly, this is a lot higher in my opinion, than a like regular Buffalo Trace. This is like a five, it's a solid bourbon. It's a good bourbon, I'm, you know, like maybe it's a six, maybe. But I mean, it's like nothing to write home about. I like Buffalo Trace and I use them in my whiskey sours and I use them to test my palate and I have a bunch of single barrels, you know. But overall, I definitely think this stands above the rest for sure. So I stand by that, six, eight, that's the score. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for more whiskey reviews. Cheers.